Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. And this one is something that I totally, totally can't believe I haven't found, hadn't found before today. Uh, this is a feature that allows you to set the kind of the global settings of a movie. So without any further ado, let's create a new movie. So we're going to go ahead and click New Movie. And we're going to go with No Theme. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and call this Testing 22. Okay. So Testing 22 here. We click on it. And in the right side here, there's a Settings button. We're going to click that. And now the best thing about this in Slice Bread is the ability to turn off the standard Ken Burns photo effect. And we can put it either in Crop to Fill or Fit. And I prefer Fit. And maybe I want two seconds instead of four. Or maybe I want ten, you know, depending on what I want what I'm doing with the video. And transition. Actually I'll put it back at like four. Transition you can do one, you know, up to two seconds. So this will save you a lot of time if you if you if you're doing um automation type stuff. You know, if you're doing thirty images and you want them all to be the exact same length and you want transitions to be certain you know you want to, anytime you drag transition and you want it to be 0.5 maybe you want it to be two you know up to you uh trim the background music that's an uh, you know a functionality that if you have background background music it'll actually chop it off a little bit but i, I don't care about that i'll leave it set themes and automatic content i actually don't usually use a theme but the theme i do use if i click on this this button I go to no theme, so I don't like any themes at all. The only time I'll use a theme if I have a, I need to do really, really quick and I don't want to do any editing, I'll, I'll pull up a theme, but usually I don't mess with them. Okay, so that's basically it. When you click on your um, movie that you created or older movies, you can set those settings here. And also, um, sometimes if you don't see this, if you go into the window, you go to movie properties, it actually will drop down and show you this stuff as well. So that is pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so let's create a new movie. No theme. We'll call it T T T T T T T. Again. Click on the movie. Go over to the right. So only single click. And then that, that setting will actually appear. And also, also, there's also good information. It tells you the name. tells you what the, the stock setting is. And uh, if it's been shared or not. So if you did export it out to, to your desktop, to a file, or to YouTube, or whatever, it'll actually let you know. And then again, loading up those settings, getting it off that Ken Burns, shrinking the clip size down, or increasing the... Or decreasing the transition length. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Comments, questions, you know where to put them. Peace. And don't forget, a whole bunch of aloha thrown right back at you. See you next time.